Hey everybody, Max coming here to Little Cute Podcast. Not too long. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, let's see. What's going on in the world? Where do I even start? So much is happening in the world this week. Oh my god, there's all these news events. Events. Happenings. New happenings. Okay, let's just start. Uh, MVP. NFL MVP 2023. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Okay, I know this is last week, but I haven't made a podcast since last week, so, uh, you know, bear with me here, man. You guys see that Aaron Rodgers, uh, first drive of the game, breaks his Achilles tendon there, out for the season. Oopsies. Oopsies. Oopsie. Uh, too bad for the Jets fans, huh? That's got to be, it's got to be sad year for the Jets fans, man. And that's what you get, Aaron Rodgers, for not taking the vaccine. That's, oh, oh, you're immunized, huh? Oh, I guess your Achilles heel wasn't immunized, huh? Oh, you should have taken that Achilles tendon vaccine. Oh, you didn't take that one? Neither did Achilles, and that's why he died. Got that arrow through the Achilles. He only put the, he put the vaccine on every part of his body except for his Achilles. And then fucking Paris shot him with an arrow. That little bitch. Um, yeah, isn't it funny that uh, Orlando Bloom, he plays little bitch Paris with a bow and arrow. And then he also plays badass Legolas with a bow and arrow. In uh, two different movies. Um, Orlando Bloom, he's so hot. Oh, my God. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. What uh, what is it talking about there? Oh, yeah, Aaron Rodgers. Of course, uh, my, my team, the Chargers. Chargers uh, found a way to lose. First two, first two games of the season. Found a way to lose. Found a way to lose. Yeah, of course, all the Chargers fans talking about, got to get rid of the coach, you know? Got to get rid of the coach. This coach sucks. It's always going for it on fourth down. He sucks. Um... Yeah, I don't even know, man. I was just watching the highlights. Kind of looks like the offensive line there isn't given, uh, isn't given, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, Herbert's. Herbert. I, don't, I mean, I don't know what the actual statistics are, but just, just from watching the highlights, it kind of seemed like he's not getting much time to throw the ball there. It's the O-line. The O-line's crumbling. The O-line is cr- Anyway. Uh, I don't really care that much about football, especially because I can't even watch it over here in Japan because uh, it'll, they'll come on like at 4 a.m. I'm not waking up for that shit. Anyway, anyway, then of course we had the controversy, uh, controversial uh, UFC Shevchenko versus Grasso. Of course, I didn't, I didn't watch that one either because uh, I went to uh, a pug meetup. My lady friend, she wanted to go to this pug meetup, so we, uh, we went down to Fujisawa. We went to this hotel, had a pug meetup. They were having a pug meetup on the fourth floor. On the third floor was a some other meetup for some other dumb small dog there, you know? uh, there was a, There was a lot of fat boys at this pug meetup, man. Walking around, a lot of heavy breathing, a lot of uh, going around there, you know? Like, just like 50 dogs walking around going. There was this one dog, uh, Gumi-chan. Gumi-chan had a uh, big, uh, big uh, breathing problem. She was walking around like... <laughs> oh, Zora doesn't like it when I uh, when I breathe like that. Hey, I'm just I'm, I'm impersonating you. I'm impersonating your breathing. He doesn't like that when I do that. But yeah, it was a fun time for kids of all ages. There, man, there, there were some people that had some big ass pugs there, dude. This one pug was like 25 pounds. He was huge. Like he wasn't even fat. He was just like big, you know. There was also some fat boys there. Some of those owners need to stop feeding their pugs so much goddamn food. But yeah, man, there was like like okay, my. Zorro is, uh, he's like, oh, 18, he's like 18, 20 pounds. So there was, there was this other dog there. It's got to be like 25, 28 pounds there. Like 30, 30, almost 30% bigger than Zorro. He's a big fat boy. He's king, king pug fat boy. Uh, yeah, it's funny, you know, we were there for a couple hours, and you know, I'm getting kind of bored just like sitting on this chair. I'm looking at my phone, you know, and like, I think, uh, I think Zorro is like under me. So I start. I start scratching him. I'm like, oh, good boy. Oh, it's a good boy, you know? And I look down at some other dog. I'm like, who, who the fuck? Is, who, whose dog is this? Ah, you know? <laughs> uh, pugs are so dumb. I love them. They're dumb and fat. Oh, I like my women like I like my pugs. Dumb and fat. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Shevchenko fight there. Of course, I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Everyone was saying, uh... A lot of people are saying Grasso did uh, two, four, five there, but the judges gave uh, Shevchenko round four, and then uh, Matt Mike Bell he gave uh, Grasso uh, ten eight on the fifth round there. But 
Obviously, shouldn't have been a 10-8. Like, he might have he might have been like, oops, oops, I messed up. I forgot. I forgot. So the fight ended in a draw, which uh, I'm sure nobody bet on. Not every fight. If you look at the draw, it's like 65 to 1 if you bet it. If you bet a dollar, you can make $65 based on any any fight if they uh, end in a draw. But it almost never happens. So, so uh, yeah, anyway, I didn't watch the fight, so I can't really comment on it. But uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Grasso won because I put 10 bucks on her. Uh, yeah, I thought I was going to lose that money, but uh, they just they just refunded it. I don't know. I thought I would. Lo- I thought that was like the uh, like the roulette wheel, you know. The the house has the zero zero one there, you know. So they got like a slight advantage. I thought that was. I thought draws. If you didn't, I bet Grosso was going to win, but uh, she didn't win. So I just got my money back. I didn't lose any money. I don't know. I'm thankful. That's good. You know, I'm happy about that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh. What else we got going on? Okay, Russell Brand, he uh, raped a bunch of people. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about this. Russell Brand, he was in that movie, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And uh, he was the one that was fucking Sarah Marshall. While uh, the other dude was crying, you know. He went to Hawaii to get away because Sarah Marshall broke up with him. And he goes to Hawaii, and Sarah Marshall's in Hawaii with Russell Brand, and they're fucking. And he just goes to the bar, and he just sees them all the time. And he's like, and he's like walking around. He's like, I'm British. I'm Russell Brand. I'm fucking your girlfriend, dude, dude. I'm a yoga instructor. You know, and he's just like all sad. And then he ends up hooking up with uh, Mila Kunis, who uh, just she herself defended a rapist. So it's all it's all part of the circle there. You know, it's all part of the the forgetting Sarah Sarah Marshall convicted sex offender circle there. You know, because I don't I don't know anything about this. Um, I know uh, a lot of people uh, hate Russell Brand there, you know, because he's, uh, I guess he's a liberal. I mean, he is supposed to be a liberal guy, but he also talks to c- conservative people, so fucking liberal people hate that. Oh, they hate that, man. They hate it when one of their own just even talks to other people, you know? Remember the KKK? Remember them, you know? It's like, you know, the girls is like, oh, my daddy hates it when I talk to a black guy. That's why I'm going to have sex with a black guy. Now, that's like what Russell Brand is. To the like the left communist people, he's like a uh, he's like a, a daughter of a KKK person having sex with a black guy when he talks to conservative people. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, apparently he raped a bunch of people. I don't I don't know. Yeah, one uh, one uh, apparently they say the one girl did uh, after she left his house, she did a, she did a rape kit there. She went to the police and or not the police, but she went to like a. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, place where girls go, and get a, did a rape kit thing, and, uh, that's a weird name, huh, rape kit, you know, it's like, it's like, hey, little Timmy, we got all our supplies for camping, we got an earthquake kit, we got a first aid kit, we got a rape kit, we got a, it's like, uh, it's like, dad, I don't think, I don't think we're supposed to bring the rape pip, kit camping with us, just the first aid kit, oh, okay, leave that one here, we'll just leave that, I mean, what, what exactly is in that? Rape kit, you know, because cause the earthquake kit, right? We got water, we got a blanket, we got those little those little canned sausages, you know? Those are always my favorite, the canned sausages and the glass bottle, you know? I was always pissed off when, like, we had to make those earthquake earthquake kits in elementary school, you know? We had to, like, bring one. And I remember looking, I'm like, you got, no one's going to eat those sausages? You got, we're just going to leave them in the kit there for the whole year? They're just going to say, what? Those are, that's a... Uh, I mean, we got, we got gummy bears, too? We got gummy bears and sausage? No one's gonna eat those? We're just gonna leave them? We gotta look at these? Stare at them for a year? Oh, fuck, dude. Um, that's my earthquake kit memories, huh? Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, of course, you know, a lot of people are saying, like, why didn't you go to the police then? Like, I, I, I imagine. I, I understand why she didn't go to the police then. I understand. I understand. I totally understand why, uh, people don't want to, uh, you know, they feel ashamed or whatever, you know? They don't want to, they don't want to deal with that shit. But, uh, she's gonna go to the police now, right? I mean, right? Like, I mean, you didn't go to the police then, that's fine, but, because you didn't want to, but you wanted to announce it on this news channel thing? All right, okay, all right, you know, it's, it's whatever, you know, you know, you know what, I don't understand, okay, they say there's four different women, right? And they say they don't know each other, right? And it's not like, it's not like it was announced, like, you know, like Harvey Weinstein, right? Like, it got announced, and then a bunch of women came forward, right? But, like, apparently these... I don't know how this news organization... How do they find these women? You know? Like, okay, maybe one of them came forward to the news organization, right? But, like, the other three, how do they find... How do they find them? They just interview everyone this guy's ever dated? And, like, how do they even... 
I don't know, that's something I'm very curious about. Like, how do they even, how do they do this investigation? That's what I want to know. No, that's what, I'm not saying it's all made up. I mean, I, I'm definitely an evidence person, you know? I like evidence. That uh, rape kit is definitely evidence there. That's going to have his DNA on it. So, uh, that's going to be some serious jail time if, uh, if they do decide to prosecute for that. But, uh, I am reminded of my, uh, my hero, Peter Schiff. He was, uh, he was wrongfully accused of money laundering by the Australian media agency, the Aust- uh, and, uh, because of that, he, uh, he was forced to close his bank. His, his bank was, was forcibly closed, and all the depositors lost their money. They're still not able to get their money, and, uh, it, you know, it ruined his, uh, reputation there, and it was all, it was all a lie. They just made it all up, and now he's suing them for defamation, and he's gonna win. He already won. He's gonna, he's gonna win lots of money. But uh, not not nearly as much money as... Oh, God, they should give him a billion dollars. What should they do? This fucking news agency lied about my hero, Peter Schiff, about his bank for no reason, basically, just to just to try to get him to shut up because he won't stop talking about the central banking mafia printing too much money. This is what they do, people, all right? They can't cancel me because I don't have shit, you know, so... You know, just, you know, what are they going to do? They're going to make me lose my part-time English teaching job? Oh, cancel me, bro. Anyway, I uh, gotta go to a comedy show now. Thanks for listening. I'll see you tomorrow.